Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday and welcome to my June um, skincare routine. So during 2019, I have been uploading a skincare routine video at the beginning of each month, letting you guys know the products that I'm going to be using for that particular month. I base what I pull out of my skincare collection on what my skin is currently doing or if there's any issues that I'm dealing with and I try to choose my products to address those specific issues. If you missed last month's video, I did do a very simple skincare routine and it was only using one line, which are the Soam Institute products. And I will have a video for you next week, I think is when I'm planning on uploading it, where I'm gonna be giving you the rundown of um, what my thoughts were from using the entire line, the results that I saw, um, and just kind of whether I would recommend the line or not. So um, definitely stay tuned for that video because I will say when I went to go see Penny this past, actually last week to um, uh, use the plasma pen on my sebaceous hypoplasia for the second go around, she definitely noticed a difference in my skin from the month before. So while I was looking at it just from the perspective of just, you know, staring at myself in the mirror, she stares at my face with basically a microscope <laughs> um, and really bright lights and she could really see what was going on with my skin and she definitely noticed a difference. So stay tuned for that video. It's an expensive skincare line, but I'm gonna tell you what, I feel like it made a difference. So um, in the meanwhile, let's take a look at what I'm doing for the month of June. So I will still be using a lot of the Soam products, in fact, all of them, because I really like them. Um, but I have added in a bunch of other things as well because I am trying to get rid of a little bit of redness from the uh, plasma pen treatment that Penny has been doing. So let's get into it. First, um, in terms of removing my makeup, I have a couple things I'm using here. The Eminence um, Stone Crop Cleansing Oil, love this. I'm just about halfway finished with this. I really do like that product, but I don't reach for it quite as often. I also have the Drunk Elephant Slay uh, Makeup Melting Cleanser. So I have done an in-depth review of this one. I'll link that down below. Um, by the way, I will link all these products down below in the description box if you wanna go read some more about them. Everything that I have here is most definitely a product that I would personally repurchase in the future, so there's some good stuff here. Um, I also have the Clarista Retexturizing Gel. I use this about once a week. Um, it is wonderful for removing dead skin cells and just kind of giving my skin a little bit of a refresh. Um, cleanser in the morning in the shower is the Nourish Cleanser from Soam Institute. You can see their packaging is super basic. Um, the, I did talk to uh, one of the people that works for Soam for about an hour on the phone one day. And, you know, I kind of mentioned to them that this packaging is not the most attractive. It's very utilitarian, but um, I hope that as they continue to grow their brand that they might look into something that I would say a little bit more substantial just because the price point of the product is kind of up there. And I feel like a lot of people would see this and go, uh, why am I paying for that? <laughs> so anyway, it's totally like a materialistic thing, but anyway, just a thought that I passed along to them. Paula's Choice Skin Balancing Oil Reducing Cleanser. This is what I use in the evening. So this actually lives in the shower. So I'm gonna get this out of the shot. Um, still, my beloved Clarisonic. I just, I can't live without this. It's wonderful. I like the deep pore brush it. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys over and hopefully not sneeze. Please don't sneeze. Ugh. Okay, here we go. So we are gonna start on the top shelf. By the way, I will link this shelf down below. I love it. Um, masks, all right. Uh, I do masks several times a week. I have the Tracy Martin Enzyme Exfoliant Mask, always a good one. I have the Herbivore Brighten, as well as the Herbivore Blue Tansy. So now that it's summer, my skin can, it can tend to be a little bit more oily, so masks like this are a really good fit for me. Um, I did pull out the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum, which I'm going to be using during the day. This one is, oh geez Louise, this one is brand new. 
So um, I'm just kind of opening this guy up. Um, good stuff there, again, to help with a little bit of hyperpigmentation. Um, resist Daily Pore Refining Treatment 2% BHA from Paula's Choice. Love this. Actually almost done with it, so. Um, and then the Soam Institute, these are called the Transport Pads. Um, I have not a ton left, but I certainly have some left in there, so um, I'll be finishing those up in June for sure. Um, the next shelf down are just a bunch of serums and moisturizers and treatments. So I'm gonna start over here with the Soam Institute A Balm Moisturizer. Mm, this is fabulous, you guys. Um, packaging, not impressive. Again, big, wide, old, gaping hole up there. Um, I did share with them with this one, they should really do an airless pump. These products are completely shelf stable though, so by the time that you finish this, um, it's not gonna lose any FXC or anything like that. And I even talked with Penn about the packaging and she was like, yeah, no, it's fine. For the stuff that you are using, you should really, um, you should really finish these things up, obviously, within about six months to a year or so. Um, I have the Saturday Skin Bright Potion, the Probiotic Power Serum. Um, this is actually nice for me day and night, so grab that out. Um, my beloved Paula's Choice Advanced Smoothing Treatment, 10% AHA. This is wonderful. Oh, this serum. Uh, I'm definitely going to finish this in June. I have been using this all over my face and my neck and my decollete twice a day. And I am, I am down here. Like, I'm going to be finishing this up in the next few weeks. And it makes me sad because this serum is fantastic. Um... This is definitely a star in this whole Soam Institute lineup, but yeah, I'm gonna miss this when it's gone. It's spendy, but I would I would repurchase it for sure. Honeymoon uh, Glow, the AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. I just wanted to give myself some options with AHA serums. Um, you know, some feel a little bit different on the skin, and let's just face it, I crave variety. And after a month of using a very strict skincare routine, a very strict limited skincare routine, I am looking forward to um, doing it up here. So this is something that I have been testing from um, Paula's Choice. This is their Power Berry Serum. I actually started using this at the end of April um, and then had to stop because May was this stuff, but now I can start using it again and I'm actually really excited because the few times that I did use it, I really liked it a lot. So um, I'm really excited to give this a solid go. Um, I have the Dr. Loretta Intense Brightening Cream. Uh, I like to use this one at night, quite honestly. It is a, a vitamin C serum and I'm going to pair it with the Intensive Intense Replenishing Serum. These two work best together, so um, this is gonna be a nighttime vitamin C treatment on uh, a few nights a week. Um, ugh, my beloved, I have missed you. Um, Paula's Choice Resist 10% Niacinamide Booster. I thought I was gonna die without this product, um, but look at me, I survived. <laughs> um, I have the Retinol Vita C Power Serum here from, sorry, Kate Somerville, I was reading it. Um, also not shown here because I think it's actually downstairs in my office is the Drunk Elephant A Passione. Um, I took it downstairs because um, I wanted to remind myself to reorder it from Sephora. I am going to be finishing that in June and I don't want to be without it. It is, it's so good you guys. <laughs> So good. I will do a sort of final thoughts on that once I finish the tube. It's it's been amazing. I bought it at the end of December, so by the time that I'm done, it'll have lasted me probably about six months. Um, and I used it almost daily, with the exception of May, obviously. So hmm, probably five months, but. Yeah, I was consistent and it's expensive, but you know what? I feel like per, if you were to divide it out, divide it out like per day in terms of usage, it's not really that much. But anyway, uh, that is, obviously people have different opinions on that, which is fine. All right, the Soam Institute Double Defense. I have been using this as my SPF on 
my neck and my decollete. This is really good for that area. This is not good for my face. This is actually one product that I would not personally repurchase from Zome. So um, there's that. Um, down here, we have some eye creams and serums and whatnot. Um, the Sesh Condition, I actually have not been using this on my nails and I need to. My nails are almost actually completely grown out from you know, the disaster that they were when I had the acrylics <laughs> at the beginning of the year. I'm really thankful that they are starting to finally reach the end here. But anyway, I need to start using that more consistently. Uh, my beloved Paula's Trace Clinical Ceramide Enriched Firming Eye Cream. Uh, this is some hardcore stuff. Um, I love it. I think I'm actually going to probably be finishing this up here, possibly in June. This is good, you guys. That's some good stuff. Uh, my daytime eye cream is the Saturday Skin, um, what is this called? The Wide Awake, which is great for the morning. Um, the Rapid Lash, you can't really see much of the label there. Um, and the City Lash, both of these are really great lash serums. Um, I can get two for 50 bucks of this at Costco. This one's a little bit spendy for just the one. It's like 65 bucks, I think. But um, it is a really great lash conditioning serum, love it. Um, if you're not using these Lumify drops, if you have red eye issues, oh man, these are life changing. Um, and then the Color Science Total Eye Concentrate. Still am loving this. I miss the patches for my eye. I already went through all of those. Um, you know what else I forgot to pull out? Oh my gosh, I have to find it right now. Hang on. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Oh, I've missed you. Um, the Pep Up from Color Science. I really have missed this, so this has to go out too. A lot of stuff going on here, but you know what? I'm excited. Um, I have loved using these Sewn products, but I did crave variety, um, and especially now that I'm dealing with a little bit of redness from the, the uh, sebaceous hyperplasia treatment, I've got some fixing up to do. <laughs> so, um, you know, they're, the vitamin C, I feel like, is really going to help me with that. And I have several options to choose from here, obviously. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited to tell you guys about that treatment. Um, hopefully that video will be up next week. So, fingers crossed. All right, you guys, I hope you have a good start to your week. I will link these products down below. Let me know if you have any questions. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.